Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, kind of interesting. We're, we're getting ready to send out a D300 kit. We don't send out too many D300s, not too many one tons of the 50s and 60s era, or the 40s. Uh, so we just don't ship that many. So that's why I wanted to make another video. Like the rest of our disc brake kits, it's about as simple as we can make it. Uh, we have a factory spindle right here. As you can tell, like with so many of ours, um, there is a plate that goes on to the spindle. I think you can kind of grasp the idea that it's fairly easy. You have a spacer and fasteners and everything is machined just right so that it slips right on. Of course, over here is your factory parts, factory seal, bearing spacer. Everything's got to be factory to fit. Yes, the 300s use these great big old mammoth bearings. Makes it 200 and stuff. Look like a little bitty ant. And then, of course, we've got our great big old wide mouth pin style calipers with the pads. So, everything's here. It's real simple. And then, for stopping power, what do we have? What do we use? These things are about 32 pounds. The mass of the rotor is what gives you the stopping power. How much kinetic energy can they absorb? All the brake system does is convert kinetic energy into thermal energy. That's all it does. Inch and a quarter wide. Basically 12 inches. Done. Machined, once again, for the factory bearings and seals and the like. As you can see, this one right here is your standard 8 on 6 and a half that's been used for decades and decades by a lot of people and a lot of manufacturers. For the older guys and the older trucks, we also developed a long time ago is the six lug style. Look at that. Y'all, people that have been around for a little while, the 50s and the 60s, are familiar with the very rare, can't find no wheels, can't find nothing, reiterate, can't find shit to go on this pattern. And what you can find is rush it in two and no good. So, we can also do that pattern. A little bit of tricky machine work, but we've done it several times. There you go. They're already heavy, massive, and hell, a D100 won't stop worth the shit. You'll run every kid over in the neighborhood. And a 300 is about twice as bad as that. Y'all boys cruising around out there in them D100s and 200s and 300s know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. I used to get so much anxiety. Used to drive me insane. Couldn't stop that damn thing for nothing. I decided to do something about it. So there you go. Everything just fits on your factory spindle. Reverse Elliott type. Used on the 300s and up, all the way through the 800. So, there you go, my friends. Not that much to it. Get you some breaks. Change your life. You'll sleep better. Guarantee you. And you'll be less likely to mow some kids over. Bye.